Yo, it's Zero, and this is gonna be another movie that I upload to my channel. What if Naruto left with Sasuke, or was kidnapped by Sasuke in this story? So, for this story, yeah, it's gonna be a wild ride. So I hope you all do enjoy, and if you want me to keep doing Movie Mondays, make sure you like this video, and subscribe to both my channels if you haven't already. So, without any more wait at all, Let's get started. Go, go, go. Let's get it. I'm a trapping fanatic. That shit automatic, so I cannot turn it on or off. Okay. Bitches all on my dick. Then she hop on my dick. I'm like, why you keep hopping on and off? Yo, bitch all on my dick. She be doing the most. I tell her, little bitch, she's so extra. And my gun up on me, but I run up on me. Niggas, they want to fight. They some bustlers. You know Our story begins right after the battle that was had in the Valley of the End between Naruto and Sasuke. As Sasuke then stood over the body of Naruto, who was now unconscious, he wondered, Should I kill him now? It would make everything easier. I wouldn't have to worry about him anymore. This is when Orochimaru would appear. No, don't kill him. Bring him with you. We'll convert him to our side, so that he can gain power as well, for his goals. As well as I'll show him the truth of the place that he loves to call home. And that will tarnish his dream as a Hokage, as he will want to be something more than that, as I have went through that change as well, thanks to his father. Sasuke then picks up Naruto as they would leave with him. And the next time Naruto wakes up, he's in a, a dark room. But this room is illuminated. Well, it's lit up by different test tubes around him and different things in jars, as he was laying on a table, now that he thought about it. But for some reason, when he tried to move his body, it felt a hundred times heavier than before, as he could only lay there, processing everything around him. As this is when Orochimaru would appear, as Naruto knew who this was as well. Naruto would try to attack him out of ignorance and just anger for doing what he did to Sasuke, but he can't move at all. As Orochimaru began talking to him. So you've awoken. Well then, Naruto. Do you know the truth about the place that you call home? Do you know how? No. I guess I'd have to start you from the beginning. Orochimaru then explains the horrible history of the leaf. And even all the other villages. On how they only seek power. And will toss those out who do not contribute to that idea. He then reminds Naruto of his childhood, as Orochimaru does know about this thanks to Donzo. Orochimaru would tie, well, he would go for Naruto's soft spots and remind him of the horrible things that he had to go through, as he used some of Sasuke's knowledge as well, especially with Sabuza and Haku, which had recently happened, so Naruto could only think. Orochimaru then poses this question. As the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, do you believe that the leaf needs you or they will use you? Naruto, as a kid, really couldn't process this ideal. He could only sit there as that's all he could do since he was drugged. But his thoughts froze. Maybe, maybe the leaf really doesn't, doesn't need him. Orochimaru then explains how he's been here for months, being drugged over and over again and waking up and going through these same conversations. He then asked Naruto if he was so important to the leaf, why didn't they come get him? It has been a couple months after all. Maybe they don't need him. Maybe they... Maybe they forgot about Naruto. Naruto then thought about it. How? How could they forget about him after all he's done Helped defeat Gara. He even tried to bring Sasuke back. Why? Why would they just let him be captured? Naruto then begins to go through torture day to day until he's eventually converted to Orochimaru's side. And not really Orochimaru's side. He's really just changed as we have more of a sadistic, evil, goal driven, serious Naruto who trains thoroughly and thinks of every outcome for the situations that he may be put in 
as he becomes a lot more intelligent over the years. Three years would go by, and then a well, and then sometime after that, maybe a couple weeks, as the Gar retrieval arc, I would say goes relatively. I could say relatively the same, and we can just replace Naruto with Jiraiya here, as Jiraiya will be helping out the Leaf more because Naruto isn't there. And so, when they do get the information to meet Orochimaru upon a bridge to gather intel on Sasuke, Jiraiya, Kakashi, and Sakura would go on this bridge. Actually, the, no, Kakashi didn't go in the original, so it was Yamato, I believe. So, yeah, because Kakashi was out due to the Sharingan. So that'll still happen here, as we'll have Yamato using his wood release to make it look like Sasori. As Kabuto and Orochimaru will meet them on the bridge and destroy the fake puppet. As this is when the real Team 7, or the made-up one, would then reveal themselves. As do Naruto and Sasuke. They couldn't believe it. Naruto was alive. He wasn't killed. But... He's definitely different. This Naruto no longer wore his bright orange, as he wore a dark red outfit with black on different on several parts of it. As Naruto, well, he sported many scars along his neck and his arms, showing that he had been through some torture. In his eyes, the hopeful blue could no longer be seen, as they were red. But they weren't red with a slit. They were just red now. Naruto would then watch as Sasuke holds up his hand, about to use a powerful S-Ring Jutsu. And Naruto looks at him and tells him to stop, as he would then walk forward asking them something. Sakura, why didn't you guys come get me? Sakura paused for a moment. As she had heard that Lady Tsunade sent out multiple, well, search parties for Naruto, they just couldn't find him. As Naruto didn't believe this, if she was really looking for me, she would have went out and did it herself. I'm the reason that she became the Kage. So why wouldn't she try to help me out? Why? Don't even answer me. I know why. The Leaf has truly given up on their Jinchuriki. But that's okay. Because I'll become something strong enough to destroy that place that I used to call home. And I want you to let Tsunade know that she'll be the first to die for giving up on me so easily. Naruto, Sasuke, Kabuto, and Orochimaru would then disappear from the bridge by using a jutsu as a distraction. And Naruto sent out multiple shadow clones that would fend off the leaf ninja to where they couldn't follow them. They arrived back at a different hideout as it would stay there for a little bit of time which is when well in the leaf yeah Jiraiya would die by now and Sasuke and Naruto would team up to kill Orochimaru as Sasuke would create team heavy and ask Naruto to join here Naruto joined team heavy but he also has his own goals Naruto then looks around well, Orochimaru's lab, until he finds what he was looking for. Naruto. Well, he finds a lot of scrolls that have lots of jutsu that were lost to time due to this clan being wiped out. However, Orochimaru as a collector did have them for some odd reason. These were the scrolls of the dead Uzumaki clan, as Naruto would take them with them as they would leave the base, and Kabuto would try to stop them, as Naruto would fatally injure Kabuto, leaving him there to bleed out. However, Kabuto would be approached by someone else in a later time. As Team Heavy then begins their search for Itachi Uchiha, as this search takes them to many different places, as they would run into Daedara, and Naruto would fight Daedara instead of Sasuke, as Naruto would defeat him with ease, and he uses the power of the Nine Tails. Over the three years, Naruto was trained by Orochimaru to control the Nine-Tailed Beast, to use his Uzumaki abilities to tame it, 
to make it bind to his will. As Naruto could force out a four-tailed state with ease, as rage would consume him when he does, but that didn't matter to him at this point, as he only wanted to get stronger to complete his goals. When they eventually would find Hitachi, Sasuke was the only one who was allowed to pass through. As Naruto would look up at Kisame, as they have met once before, and Naruto tells Team Heavy that he's going to fight him. Kisame then laughed, wondering who Naruto was, as he did have a slight difference in his appearance. As Naruto would then, well, he would move his hair in a way to that reminded Kisame who he was. That brat, the Nine Tails. Naruto then smiled. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to go easy on you, so make sure you're ready. Naruto instantly entered a four-tailed state with Chakra covering his body as he now looks like how he does in the thumbnail. As Naruto ran on all fours towards Kisame who tried to block with his sword, but it was hit out of his hand as his hand was then sliced off as well. He tried to use water jutsu on Naruto, but Naruto was in control. It wasn't just full rage. So he was able to create hundreds of clones that also had this form as well. Some of these clones would leave the, well, leave the four-tailed state and go back to base, which is where they used their Uzumaki chains to hold Kisame in place as Naruto would slowly torture him with his clones. As Team Heavy would watch this, in sort of disbelief. They knew Naruto was strong, even relative to Sasuke and Orochimaru, but they didn't believe that Naruto was this strong, taking down an Akatsuki member like this with ease. The power of a Jachiriki is not something to be toyed with, is what they learn. As Naruto would then kill Kisame, they would wait for Sasuke to be done with his battle, and Naruto would wonder how it was going, until... Well, in the sky, he did see Sasuke's ultimate jutsu and said it must not be going good if he has to pull that type of jutsu out. Eventually, the battle would conclude as Sasuke would be kidnapped by Obito as he would learn the truth about everything. And when he thinks about, well, what Obito was telling him, he also thinks about Naruto as he would ask the truth about Naruto as well. Obito then explains what truly happened on the night of Naruto's birth on everything really as Sasuke was convinced and he would join the Akatsuki presenting this idea to Naruto as well as Naruto wondered and he would turn to the masked man isn't the Akatsuki trying to hunt me down as well no we already have samples of the nine tails chakra you cannot live well we can let you live for a certain period of time until you try to interfere with us. But if you stay loyal, we can just let you go. Whatever. I just came to find another person who I know is in the Akatsuki's rank. Because I have done some snooping around. Where is Pain, the other students of Jiraiya? Obito was surprised that Naruto even knew this knowledge, as it was secret after all. But he would take them all to the Akatsuki, or the remaining members of the Akatsuki, because Hidon and Kakazu were dead, along with Kisame and Deidara. Who else? Hmm. I think that would be. No, yeah, Sasori. Yeah, Sasori's dead as well. So, yeah. So that's four members. No, and Itachi. That makes five. Okay. So, yeah, that's five members dead out of the. I can't even remember how many there are. So it would take them to the remaining members where they would see Conan and Pain. As they didn't destroy the leaf, they only attacked it in search for Naruto, but they realized that Naruto wasn't there after doing some interrogation. So they left it in rubble, but it was still easily made to be rebuilt. And Tsunade would still be Kage at this time. So Naruto would now face Pain slash Nagato. As the two would begin talking, and Naruto would wonder why Pain is the leader of the Akatsuki. He would wonder what happened, as the two are sort of the same in a way. He also looks at the purple eyes of Pain, wanting them for himself, 
as this Naruto has become very selfish as well. He only desires power. Yes, the power to destroy. Nagato, or Pain, will then give another mission to Naruto and Sasuke, along with Team Heavy, who also joined, as their mission would be to capture the Eight Tails Jinchuriki, Killer B. Sasuke would smile, seeing this as an opportunity to prove himself. As now, well, they would then go to the Land of Lightning. I was trying to remember which one it was, but yes, the Land of Lightning. As they would enter abruptly, killing the guards at the front and making loud explosions as they would enter the village. They would get to the location where Killer B is said to be. That That's horrible. But once they get there, they would jump down onto a platform where they see someone writing something down in a notepad as Killer B would begin rapping and then he stopped as his ginger, well, his tail beast would remind him that he has to be serious, especially now, thanks to that person being there as well. Killer B will wonder what his Jinchuriki, not Jinchuriki, his tail beast was talking about until he saw Naruto. The nine tails, he would say, as Naruto would smirk. Huh, so this fight really is in our favor. Hey Sasuke, let me have him. Yeah, right, Naruto. You killed Orochimaru and Kisame. Yeah, this fight is all mine. Karin would then butt in between the two. Will you two just stop fighting already? Whatever, Naruto would say. As Naruto and Karin during this time did form a relationship, sort of. As she was one of the only people within Orochimaru's hideout to actually check up on Naruto. As Sasuke only checked up on him to train, and Orochimaru only wanted to view his progress and his strength to one day take his body and use the Nine Tails himself. The Uchiha and Uzumaki duo would rush at Killer B, who then pulls out multiple swords defending their attacks, but Naruto's sharp claws, paired with his Winjutsu and his multiple clones, would catch him off guard, as Killer B didn't really have a defense for this. He was a strong fighter, yes, and he even summoned his tailed beast, to which Naruto only used a four-tailed state with hundreds of clones to defend from, as he could also, well, he could use a prototype tail beast bomb. And his giant Rasengans, well, the power of them were unmatched here, as they definitely surpassed Jiraiya's. Naruto, well, and Sasuke. No, really Team Heavy would just take, they still take the clone of Killer B, as the real one would still get away, just barely this time. As Akage Summit would soon be called shortly after, but by this time, Nagato and Konan were dead, as they were killed by Obito, who would take his Renegon and now sports a different mask along with a purple outfit as he also has Madara's fan, to really sell the idea that he is Madara. He would tell the two of them about this, about the Kage Summit, as they should attend with him, as Naruto and Sasuke would decline, saying that they have more important matters within the Leaf Village, as Sasuke knows that Danzo is in the Leaf, and Naruto knows Tsunade is at the Kage Summit, but he wants to crumble her dreams, destroy her hopes, her passions, her loved ones, all again by destroying the leaf, Sasuke. He wants to get revenge for his fallen brethren, his clan, his brother. So the two of their goals align in a way, you could say. As now, they would head to the leaf while Obito heads to the Kage Summit to inform them about the fourth great shinobi world war. Sasuke and Naruto would stand over the leaf village with Team Heavy standing behind them as Naruto would smile. Sasuke here had Itachi's eyes implanted early and was training non-stop 
with the EMS, or Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, getting it to a point where he could use a full body Suzano. As he would do this here, along, well, along with it being powered up by the Nine Tails' power, as this would kind of be the opposite of what we usually see in canon with the Nine Tails being covered by the Suzano, this time the Suzano would change colors, being more akin towards, I'd say, Itachi Suzano's color, as it would be imbued with the power of the Nine Tails. They would destroy buildings after buildings as they would eventually find Danzo and Sasuke jumps out of the Suzano and Naruto jumps to the ground as he would begin killing those within the village as Sasuke would hunt down Danzo who was running away. Naruto would first come across Kakashi Hatsuke as Naruto would smile as he had a separate mission from Sasuke as well as Madara or Obito, had given this mission to him especially, since they were going to the leaf. He wants him to take the Sharingan of Kakashi Hatake as it, well, it belongs to him. Naruto didn't really understand this, but Obito says, or Madara says, that once Naruto takes it, he's strong enough to implant it within his own eye. As Naruto did like this, so instantly, he ran up and got behind Kakashi, ripping out his eye as Kakashi first tried to talk to Naruto, surprised that he was alive, as the rumors were true. But this wasn't Naruto, as Naruto would exclaim this himself. No, the Naruto that you knew has long died many years ago. I am someone completely different, someone reborn. Someone reborn with the knowledge, the truth, and I mean the truth of this world, this corrupt world, that I will soon fix with my own goals. But the first thing to do, well, we'll have to restart by destroying all the villages. Kakashi thought this was preposterous. Why? Why would he do this? Is this truly the son of Minato and Kushina? As he would say this aloud to Naruto, saying that his father would not want this. But Naruto already knew about his father. Yeah, a proud man he must be. No, he wouldn't even like me now. He wouldn't even like me when I was younger. Someone who pulls pranks around the village. He would have hated me just like the rest. He probably wouldn't even have claimed me as his own son. That's what's wrong with this world. I was hated for something that was out of my control. Something that I had no control over. Something that he burdened me with from my birth. He couldn't have prevented this? Yeah, right. The yellow flash of the leaf. Many war stories made after him. The fastest shinobi in the world couldn't have stopped one attack? On the leaf village? How pitiful does that sound, Kakashi? Do not pleasure me with your fallacies, as I do not care anymore, as I am someone who this world needs, someone who will become a lot stronger than any of those men upon those stone faces, as I have something to take from this village as well to help my goal. But before any of that, I need to get rid of a few people that I know will stand in my way, and since Kakashi doesn't have a Sharingan gun here, Naruto steps up to him and instantly stabs him through the chest with a Rasengan. The Rasengan didn't even blow him away. It only stabbed through his body as this one was different. It was infused with a lightning jutsu as well. As Naruto took the time to learn the Chidori from Sasuke, this way he could combine it with the Rasengan. As Kakashi's body would then explode from these two jutsus being combined like this in such a destructive manner. As Sakura would now jump down from a building trying to crush Naruto with her fist as Naruto flips away and kicks her in the face, sending her across the village. You thought you were that strong? Don't make me laugh. You're trash and you always have been trash. I don't even know why I fell for you in the first place. The remaining Konoha 12 along with some of their senseis would then step up to fight Naruto. 
As Naruto could only laugh. Yeah, this is what I wanted. I wanted a fight like this. So show me. Show me what you think is strength. And I'll crush that ideal and show you true strength. I am no longer Naruto Uzumaki. I am just Naruto. Someone who has no affiliation, no rank, only power. Someone who... No. What's even the point of explaining it to you? Naruto. Well, he enters... No, he doesn't even enter a four-tailed state here. Naruto infuses his arm with the power of the nine tails while implanting, well, Kakashi Sharingan into his eye. As he did, well, I think Naruto could control it by this point. So he turns it off and turns it on into his Mangekyo state as he begins to bleed. As he then smiles, yelling out, Kamui. Naruto then gets rid of all of them, placing them into the Kamui dimension. As when they sat there, they wondered where they were. Until they heard a voice. Well, it looks like he was able to do it. Just as I predicted. Now for the rest of you. You will die here. They look up to see a masked man. With the Rinnegan and another eye that was similar to Naruto's. Sitting down on something. As he would then show them. What he was sitting down upon. He was sitting down upon the heads of some of the Kage, as he would smile. Well, let me add you to my collection. Back within the leaf, Naruto finished his rampage by killing many people within the leaf. And he actually took, well, he took part in his last bowl of ramen that he would steal. But he would throw money at the worker, leaving him alive, as he did have a soft spot for this person. If only you would have adopted me. Maybe I could do a what if on that as well. But that would just be for fun. Naruto then catches up with Sasuke, who had finished off Danzo by this point, as the two of them would now leave. Naruto also captures Yamato so that he could be used for the White Setsu, as he would bring him to Obito. And now the war would begin after another week of preparations, as the Great Shinobi Alliance, or Alliances, would... Well, it would still happen here, as I do need that to happen. However, the Leaf doesn't have that many soldiers. They only have a couple hundred, which isn't much when you think about how many, how many ninja that there, that there used to be. As when the war starts, Naruto and Sasuke, well, they don't participate at first. They just sit there, together, wondering if their goals were truly completed. Or if this was the life that they truly wanted to live. Naruto would stand up as he would pull out something that he stole from the leaf. It was a scroll of sealing, along with many other things that he had stolen. Yeah, he had stolen. I'm tripping. But Naruto would then go through it, learning many jutsu in the time that he has before he enters a war. As when he arrives on the main battlefield, well, someone else had arrived as well. It was Madara Uchiha. The real Madara was revived. As Naruto would stand next to him. Oh, so you are the real Madara. Isn't that nice? Well, maybe I can help you out. Sort of be a business partner to you. Madara would wonder what the boy meant as he's never met this person and has heard no word of him. But Naruto sort of does remind him of a younger Obito. And Naruto could only smile. Oh yeah? Well, how about this? You throw these out there, and I'll show you what I can do. Naruto then hands him a bunch of kunai. And Madara, not thinking nothing of it, would just throw it out there. As when they land, they would kill a few people. And when he looks towards Naruto again, Naruto was gone. Vanished from his side, as he would now be in the middle of the Shinobi Alliance, killing those who attacked him, as Madara would laugh, jumping right at Naruto, who was in the middle, as the two now stood back to back. You thought I was just gonna let you have all the fun, didn't you? Well, boy, you do amuse me, so 
So show me what true strength really is in your generation. With no real true opposition to Madara and Obito's plan, I do believe the ending would go something like this. I'll just do an overview of what I think it would be, as I don't really know, well, I don't really need to go too in depth with it. As you all know where I'm probably going with this. Obito and Madara do complete the infinite Tsukuyomi, with Naruto actually dying here, as they didn't have enough of the Nine Tails' power. Even with reviving Minato and taking his, they wanted to use the full Nine Tails' power. Or you could say that they had enough and Naruto does survive. However, he's still placed in the infinite Tsukuyomi, where he lives a more peaceful life. As I might go over his dream at the end, if I do think of it. Naruto? No. Madara is then backstabbed by Black Zetsu as Kaguya is revived and she completes her mission that she was originally supposed to do while Naruto would live in his dream. This dream was different. He was happy here. He was a kid again. This time, the leaf, it looked different. His mother and his father were there along with Karin and even Sasuke, Jugo, and Suigetsu. They were all kids together in the leaf, with the Uchiha clan being alive, so Sasuke was happy as well. And Naruto's father, he was proud of him. He was always helping Naruto train. And Pervy Sage, he was there as well. Naruto, within this dream, could only smile as he was happy. This was the life he truly wanted all along.